Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 552 of One Piece today and I wonder what's going to happen now since uh, the princes were actually able to defeat uh, uh, those sea monsters which was uh, already pretty impressive um, but uh, unfortunately the other ones are something else so uh, especially when they take um, those drugs it makes them a lot uh, stronger and faster so it's going to be uh, much harder to defeat them um, but yeah, thankfully Jinbei is uh, already on his way, but uh, even with that, like, it's it's pretty obvious that Jinbei is um, really strong, um, but uh, there's a whole lot of them, and, uh, like, Ordi Jones, who seems to be, um, I don't know how many times stronger, because he took a whole lot of those drugs, and we could see when he used that um, water shot, um, it went uh, really well, like, it went really far, and kept destroying everything on its way, so that was uh, quite something, and already makes me feel like uh, it's going to take a lot to um, do something against uh, these guys. Um, but yeah, I'm also thinking about um, the Straw Hat Pirates, because uh, this implied that Jinbei was able to stop uh, Luffy, um, and when they were showing that place, I couldn't see any of the Straw Hat Pirates, so hopefully they will show what exactly happened during um, those moments, so uh, after that fight between um, Jinbei uh, and Luffy, um, but yeah, there's also... Um, Zoro, uh, Brook and Usopp, currently they are trapped uh, in that uh, palace um, and uh, Brook is trying really hard to make Papago help them so uh, I don't know when they will resume that because first Papago needs to um, like um, understand that uh, it's actually Brook and he's not there to arm him um, and then uh, try to get uh, Zoro's sword uh, somehow so don't know if that's actually what's going to happen but that's the plan uh, right now um, but yeah, really can't wait to, um, to watch this episode. So, with this, hope you guys are ready, and let's start it. And there's still this guy. I don't know, I have a feeling that Shiraoshi is going to end up using uh, her power. At some point. I feel like it's going to be relevant. I mean, they even show that part in showing the Thousand Sunny. There's um, Tom's brother. There's no one else. I heard Otohime. What is that? Who did that? Oh damn, was that Van der Decken or something? Man, really? As it was all of these guys together? And right off the bat, this happens.
Damn as well. Man, this is not looking good. Yeah, those drugs. There is. These guys. Here they come. And this is like the worst that could be happening. I mean, at this point, only the Starlight Pirates can do something, but... Jimbe, I mean, I was expecting him to at least put up a fight. But this happened to him. Everything is going wrong. Exactly what I'm wondering. I was actually thinking about that, if they were... They made an agreement... They would go to get... Their friends... And not... Get involved with this situation anymore... I don't know... Because maybe they already left that place and they are like going to the palace... To get Zoro and the others... Holy... What is he planning on doing? Intending on killing them all? Just 
keeps escalating so much. I guess they're not going to kill them. They're like they're going to be their slaves or something. Just like what happened. Not what happened, but what unfortunately still happens with fishmen being slaves. It's like it doesn't solve anything. I don't even know why he's doing this, I mean... Doesn't he realize that this makes him no better than humans? Like, those who do these bad things? So weird. Ooh. She's going to do something. Wasn't. I'm still curious about this. Yeah, like... Hmm... And that's already something to think about. Hmm, exactly. We really? We did he kill her? Oh my god, this guy! Man, I hope that didn't hit a, like, a, a vital spot. The only thing he cares about. It's 
Going to tell all of them. Wait, he's the one who ordered it? I was thinking like it... It told them before about how it was a human who killed her. It was actually him? He's the one who asked this guy. Who made him do it. Holy... And like I was wondering about before... It felt like this guy was following orders, I just didn't know from who. How did he reveal it? Man, this guy... I really hate Ordy Jones, for real. And they're going to show this again. Wait. Wait, it's different. Is is actually the one who pulled the trigger? Oh, okay, so he was supposed to do that. Then he put the blame on him. So he made it look like it was his guy doing it. Oh my god, I understand it now. When they got there, he, he had been already shot by Ordy Jones. Holy... Man, this explains so much. But what actually happened? It was Ordy Jones all the time, pulling the trigger and everything. Felt like he like made that guy shoot her. Not that he shot her and then killed that guy and made and pretended that he was the one doing it. And he was there so he couldn't do anything about it. Nice way to make me hate you even more. Yeah, just keep talking. Holy, this guy. So mad right now. And in man, uh, like for real.
she knew it. What is he trying to do? I was actually wondering about that ship. It's like an arc. Why did they build it? Holy... And for real, I don't even know what to think about. Oh, there's like so much happening. I can't believe like this this revelation like 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 I said before like I was uh, already thinking that someone made um, that human shoot Otohime like someone was behind that but it was totally different and even as as I was watching the explanation it just kept being more and more different from what I was thinking so. Like, it started to feel like Ordi Jones paid that guy to do it, but then it wasn't about that, so uh, it, it, it seems that um, he made him um, set those papers um, on fire, so it wasn't uh, about uh, pulling uh, that trigger and killing uh, the queen. Um, and now, or like, after... So, Ordi, Ordi Jones was actually the one planning um, on shooting her, so... It's like everything went according to his plan and uh, like there was that moment when um, like the the shot uh, happened and uh, the first one to get um, not to get to the scene because now I know what actually happened um but um, there was um, like that human was um, shot uh, brief moments uh, afterwards so um he was already dead and it was Ordi Jones um, doing it um and now this explains why so he was already by his side and decided to um take advantage of this situation and put the blame um on this human so yeah that was um, man that was really crazy to hear all of these um like everything he, he decided to do and how this was literally all because of him, all because of Ordi Jones. That, that really just makes me hate this guy even more. It's really unbelievable to see his mentality and like the amount of hatred that he has and how he's... I don't know, like it's really hard to explain and even harder to understand why um, he became like this. Like I understand that uh, like some of the things that happened in the past made him um, like gain a lot of hatred um like um because of these uh, humans um but i mean it's like he's not even stopping uh, to think that like he, he shouldn't just put everyone in the same bag like it's, it's like he doesn't even care about that he's like literally blaming the whole race because uh, of um the wrongdoings of uh, a few of them so yeah, it's uh, again a really it's something that makes me really sad above everything. I mean, of course I'm also triggered because um, of the things he keeps doing. But yeah, it's more of a sad situation than uh, anything else. So really hope that some better things start happening uh, at some point because right now it's like everything is going down ill. Like there's nothing good uh, happening um, during uh, these moments. Um, but yeah, I'm also really worried about um, Charlie because she got uh, 
hit by those um, those bubbles or the, the water shot I believe that's the name of his attack um, but I don't know where she got it so really hope that it was um, on the side of her belly or something like uh, somewhere uh, like hopefully it's not uh, on a, a vital spot um, but yeah it was also like talking about Charlie she was making um, a good point about uh, her um, prediction because if she saw Luffy destroying the island, that means that it's not uh, Ordi Jones uh, ruling this place. So I don't know. It's uh, like there aren't uh, any more details about this, and it's just like left in the air. And uh, I need to um, like just think uh, about it and uh, keep that in mind. And then afterwards, they will most likely. Um, show more about it so I, I have yet to see where exactly the straw at Paris are so something that uh, I'm uh, looking forward um, uh, to see um, but yeah I was thinking that um, maybe they're going for um, the, pal uh, the palace to get uh, the rest of uh, their friends since uh, they are already there and uh, in danger um, but yeah We'll see what ends up happening. This episode really triggered me a lot, especially these uh, final moments with Ordi Jones doing uh, all of those things and revealing... Uh, uh, it's like, not only he was revealing that, but he was also pretty proud of it and even uh, like talking to Shira Oshi as if she was ever going to enjoy what he was saying. So that's just really, really triggering and uh, I also wonder what... Um, what Shira Oshi meant when she said uh, that uh, she knew about it. So it's like um, somehow she knew about uh, what happened before. I don't know if it's about those details, like how it was uh, Ordi Jones um, pulling the trigger or not. Um, but yeah, something to wonder about. And hopefully these next episodes will keep revealing more and more about uh, this whole uh, situation. Um, so yeah, there's also this... Um, this ship, it's apparently called the Noah, and it, I want to believe it's, it was supposed to be like a, an ark, like, and probably to save uh, some people, like, I'm not too sure about what was the goal um, of, like, uh, what was the objective, like, by building, uh, or, like, of building that, um, that ship, uh, but, yeah, I don't think uh, it's going to be helpful um, anymore, like, if they intended, uh, intended on using it, um, it's probably not going to happen anymore, since uh, Vanderdecken just decided to uh, throw it um, at Shira Oshi and with that to that whole place. And since the ship is quite big, of course, uh, if it ends up happening, if it ends up eating that place, it's going to destroy a lot. So hopefully it won't happen. I don't know like how he's even able to, to do it. Like I don't know, like his power enables him to throw things at... Um, the the ones he marks or like the things he marks i believe it can be literally anything um but i mean he's literally lifting this whole ship so that's uh, quite crazy and uh, just gets to show how dangerous um it can be um but yeah hopefully something will happen to prevent um this um like this ship from um actually being thrown uh at that place um but yeah really can't wait to to see what's going to happen during this uh, next episode so with this hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and you can also join my discord and my patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one